from my perspective, you know, learning term sheets the first time is that any entrepreneur, if there's entrepreneurs in here, you know, you, you start going through these and it's like, you know, your head starts to spin a little bit. And, but when you walk, you know, with your attorney through each one of these steps and you start to see how they fit in, you know, I think just a couple of buckets for me anyway. And those, those buckets for me are the valuation or val not just valuation, but company values. So that's like, that, what's the valuation and the share price? But what, what's the raise amount, right? So if you're an entrepreneur and you're going to go in and negotiate a term sheet, the first thing you really have to have a good idea about is, well, what do I want to accomplish with this raise? And can I accomplish it with an amount of money uh, based on the valuation that I think I can get that, that it's not going to be too much, right? The, that the uh, investor gets too much of the company and now, you know, you don't have anything left. But also, you have to offer enough to where they're interested in coming in. So if you get a term sheet with a cumulative dividend, it probably means you should focus on something else. Um, because they're going to say, when you say, it has to be non-cumulative, they'll say, OK, but then I need this. So um, hopefully, I didn't give away a secret that's going to cost me money in the future. But we don't ask for it you know, from, the, from the outset. So since we don't, I'll, I'll give that one away. The, the next one, though, liquidation preference, we care a lot about. Um, this is probably the most negotiated term that we deal with, and, and out of every term in here, um, this is the, the most important to, to us. Um, you know, from our perspective, you know, price is what you pay and value is what you get. One of the things that um, the particularly early stage investors want, especially if they are minority stockholders, is the ability to have a say in what I'll call the extraordinary events facing a company. And, um, you know, Brian, I'm speaking to yourself, but investors typically do not want to put their money into a company only to find out the next day that it's going to be sold. Just last comment, I think, is just behavior with term sheets from investors. Yes. Uh, there are many investors, Series A investors, that will throw out term sheets and just to try to hold a deal, and they don't know if they want to do the deal yet. We don't sign a term sheet unless we're going to close the deal. And we've only had one signed term sheet in the history of our firm dating even back to our roots in Silicon Valley that hasn't closed. Um, but it takes us forever to get a term sheet. So we're known as slow to get a term sheet out, and you know, we recognize that. But it's because we're going to close the deal. Um, that's our reputation, and people should know that. A lot of other firms act on the other end of that, and they're just going to give you a term sheet. And so be careful of no shop, and they want to try to lock you up and, and those. So. If it seems like it came too easy and too fast, um, just you know, be leery of what you actually have.